Now Bubble AI created this project page for me and I can view my projects in this table. In the last column, I have the options to edit or delete. Now I also have a pop-up called pop-up edit project pop-up. And this is where we need to configure our inputs to accept existing data because we have data already and would like to make changes. We're not creating a new project, we're editing a project. And I can see that a bit of work still needs to be done here and that's okay. So how do we first of all display information back to a user and for them to be able to edit that information? So the first thing I'm going to do is on the pop-up itself, I'm going to match the content that we're trying to edit. So that's going to be a project because we're trying to edit a row in the database or row in the table that we're looking at. Okay, this, I'm going to leave the data source empty because we're not quite sure in which row the user is going to click. It could be wanting to edit any of those three projects that we have. But we need to make sure that data flows from the pop-up into the next element and then into the inputs. So I'm going to actually have a look at my elements tree on the left-hand side. And I can see that we have another group here. So with this group, all I'm going to do is pass the project data through by referencing the parent group's project. Okay. If I expand this group, I can see that I have more groups. And this is very good design practice because it allows granular control over the layout of the elements in these groups. So I can see that Bubble AI went ahead and created these individual groups. Okay. And to save a bit of time, I'm going to highlight all of them. And then I'm going to select my data source project. And now for the data source, we just need to go to each one and just select the parent group's project. And we can get a bit more granular here. Okay. And now because we've done that, if I go back to group B, and let's focus now on uh, this input here beneath it. Bubble gives us the option to display initial content. And what this means that if there is a project name, well, let's show it back to the user that potentially wants to edit this field. And to do that, because we passed data through, we can access the parent again, parent groups projects. So we're accessing the data type project. And what do we want to display here? Well, we want to display the name. I can see by the label on top of the input. Now let's do the same for description. Initial content, description. Let's do the same for the start date. Initial content, start date. Now, if we didn't do this, when a user clicks on edit project, it'll just be a blank pop-up with empty fields. So that's why we are displaying information back to them and then they can edit it from there. And then we have some options here. So I'm going to leave out status. It doesn't look like Bubble AI managed to finish this particular one. Okay, so we have set up the data for this pop-up to be able to receive data and for us to edit it. Now, how do we pass data into that pop-up? I'm going to click on this edit button and I'm going to choose edit workflow. Now I'm going to click on the plus icon. And so we can now go to element actions and show the pop-up. So show an element and then just select the pop-up. Okay. And as it stands, what's going to happen is Bubble will show a pop-up, but remember the pop-up needs a data source. Remember we left that blank intentionally. Let me go back up and open this pop-up again. Remember we left this data type empty and that is because we want the option to be able to click on any of these three and pass the data through dynamically. So let's continue with this expression. So I'm gonna add another one between these two and I'm gonna go down to element actions and I'm gonna choose display data in a group or a pop-up. Fantastic. Okay, so let's display it in the pop-up edit project. And which data do we want to display? Contextually, we want to display the row of data that we're clicking in. That would be the current rows project. 
Okay. I could be clicking in any one of these three. So I need to access the current one I'm clicking in, the current rows project. Let's test this out. Why don't we test this middle one? Mobile app design, develop across platform mobile data. And by the way, Bubble AI also created this data for me or this test data based on my early prompt when I first created it. Okay, let's click on edit. And there we go. Mobile app data, develop across platform mobile network. And here are the dates. Let me cancel that. Let me come out of that and try another one. So website redesign. And there's our website redesign. And lastly, data migration. So from here, we can make any change we like and then configure our workflow on this button to save the data back to the database. 